Welcome to Operation Side Hustle with Piers. My name is Piers, and the goal of this channel is to grow 25 pounds into 25,000 uh, pounds. In this video, follow along, kind of checking out how you know how do you go about flipping furniture, and what do you guys need to actually flip furniture? Do you need a massive car? Do you need a truck? You know, do you need loads of like moving sheets and ratchet straps? So uh, follow along for the journey, find out what you actually need. Uh, the reality is that you need far less than you probably initially think. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the content. I'll catch up with you soon. See you in a bit. Start of a new video. How's everyone doing? Welcome to the lockdown haircut as well. My car parked miles away from my, my house today for some reason. Um, wow. Yeah, start of a new video. How, how's everyone doing? I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you're having a, a nice week whenever you're watching this. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, had a pretty busy morning. The £15 coffee table, I'll put some pictures up somewhere uh, that we picked up in the last video. I actually sold that this morning for £75. So uh, a really tidy profit. I was really pleased with that. Um, and now I'm on my way to go and pick up a pine coffee table. Got to start making some sales. Um, I've got two pieces of stock currently, uh, now that I've sold that other one. So I'm gonna have three pieces of stock once we picked up this pine table, uh, but I've not really been getting any inquiries. So I've uh, been making some adjustments to my listings, kind of adjusting the keywords and bits and bobs just to try some different angles. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you make some sales, but let's go and get this table picked up. Um, and then hopefully I'll check in with you once I've taken all the photos. See you in a bit. Just picked up that pine coffee table. It's a little bit smaller than I was expecting. Probably should have checked the, uh, the details a little bit more, but it looks to be a, a good quality piece. We paid 20 pounds for that item. I reckon we'll be able to sell it for, for easily for 40 or 50 pounds. So we'll be able to double our money and maybe a little bit more. So we're gonna, gonna get home, get that listed, and then I'll uh, catch up with you guys soon. See you in a bit. Welcome back. What a weird couple of days. It's now Sunday afternoon. Uh, I think the last time I checked in with you was Friday, kind of early Friday. And the weekend has just been dead. Like I've been struggling so hard. I've been trying to like come up with different ways of, of listing the items. I've got the one that I picked up from Outfit down there. But Sunday afternoon, I relisted the items. I kind of put in some different keywords and I've managed to sell that handmade pine unit. I only managed to sell it for 55. So I think we picked that one up for 20 or 25. So we definitely doubled our money, but I was hoping for 70 originally, but uh, just kind of the way it goes sometimes, I'm really struggling to get anything to happen on that sort of uh, piece that I picked up from Outfit, but we'll try some more uh, some more keywords. I got a table that I picked up on Friday, got that one listed today, so hopefully we get some inquiries about that one. And tomorrow I'm gonna be picking up some more stock. So I'm looking to take on the tips that I've been discussing, that I discussed in the last video, I'm trying to build up those stock levels. I wanna have at least five items at all times. I'm currently down to two, so I've got a lot of stock collection to do. But uh, it's all part of the process. We're, we're building our channel network, which is great. So uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you tomorrow once I'm uh, on my way to pick up the table. See you in a bit. Cold Monday afternoon. It's been snowing all day where I live and it is freezing. Um, had a slow couple of days, as I said, I think in my last clip, really not been making that many sales. Managed to sell one table yesterday. Uh, and I also made a sale for someone that's gonna be collecting the item on Friday, which was the, um, I don't think what table it was. It was the kind of the pine table that I picked up most recently. I'll, I'll put up a picture of the item I'm talking about. I've actually managed to sell that one for 65 pounds, which is uh, which is pretty good going. So uh, I'm pleased with that. But I'm on my way now to go and pick up another table. Hopefully we don't get hit by too much snow. But uh, yeah, gonna gonna head out now. Catch up with you guys soon. Holy smokes! Picking up tables that are on like third floor apartments. Wow, that was so heavy. I'm so out of breath. It's crazy, but. Really pleased with the table. Looks to be a really good solid piece. So uh, had a quick look at the top as well. Looks to be in really good condition. So I think we'll be able to make some good money on this piece. Gonna head home now, to hopefully try and avoid the snow. Catch up with a bit, bye bye.
check it out. It is freezing cold. It's been snowing all day. I'm wearing a mask for some reason. It's because I'm currently driving a different car today. I'm gonna be taking my wife's car because my car is currently being serviced. So um, yeah, gotta, gotta take my wife's car. I've got a little up for the, the next couple of days, which is a, a small one. So I don't think the car will fit or the table will fit in the car, but I'm on my way. I've got to go pick up a coffee table. Sales have been so slow the last couple of days, getting no inquiries. I don't know if people are getting those sort of February blues, but um, hopefully things start to pick up. So uh, yeah, let's go and get this table. See you in a bit. Wowza. Just had to carry a table from another like third floor apartment. My God, and it was heavy again. I had to take the drawers out this time. I've got it in the back. It looks to be okay. Um, there might be some damage on the top. I couldn't really tell. The, the lighting was really bad in the apartment and I kind of wanted to get in and out, but I think uh, get it home, get it listed. Paid 30 pounds for it. So hopefully we'll be able to get sort of around 60 for it. But if we have to take a little bit of a hit, if we can get sort of 45, 50, 50 pounds, I'll be happy with. So uh, yeah, gonna head home. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Catch up with you soon. Checking in real quick, everyone. It is now sort of Tuesday evening and there's definitely something going on. I've been reading up on a, a, a lot, um, looking at kind of a, a couple of the, the buyer groups. I mean, I'm in reselling groups and bits and bobs. People are talking about their eBay sales being down, their Etsy sales being down, Amazon sales being down. I'm noticing my Facebook sales being down. So if you are experiencing it, don't worry. It's nothing personal. It's nothing to do with your listing. It's just that kind of time of the year. We're coming out of the back of uh, sort of Christmas and January when people are, you know, potentially spending a little bit. They've got presents. People are starting to really hold on to their money. So just kind of dig in, you know, you'll get through it and then hopefully things will start to pick up again soon. If you are having uh, problems selling stuff at the moment, we're all going through it. The whole industry as a whole, e-commerce, you know, I'm, I'm actually noticing it in my sort of main day-to-day -day job as well. People are not placing orders. So uh, yeah, stick at it. We'll get better. Just another video checking in. It has been a rough couple of days. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a tip. I've got um, the table that I picked up yesterday just here. Um, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there are quite a lot of dinks and kind of uh, glass marks and bits and bobs. And there were some really bad ones. If I move this, you might be able to see it a little bit better. There were some really bad ones. There's a pretty bad one just here. And it was actually completely white. But what I've got is I've got these furniture finishing pens and you can see they kind of, that's a maple one, but I've got like an oak one, I think, and a walnut one. So what's that one? I've got like a mahogany one. And essentially what these are, they're like almost like corrector pens and you can just sort of color in the, the area and then smooth it out. So I've just colored this one in and I'm gonna have to give it a bit of a wipe and I'll kind of blend it in. But essentially that was completely white a second ago. And now, you know, it's not perfect. And I will have to tell people that there is a mark there but the table looks significantly better. There were marks all up here as well. Um, but now it does look a lot better. And these pens are literally, I'm trying to think of what they called, furnish pens, furniture repair markers. Um, they're about eight, nine pounds, eight or nine pounds off of Amazon. So if you are flipping furniture, you're not hiding anything. You're just trying to make the piece look as, as good as possible. Um, and by using these pens, you can just kind of correct those little areas that uh, potentially, you know, are, are damaged. You still have to highlight it. You still have to say to people, look, you know, look, there's this damage, but it makes it look a lot better. Um, and you just kind of, yeah, have to color it in and then blend it. Uh, and it makes the table look really nice. Good afternoon, just finished up my day at work. The last couple of clips have been saying about how sales have been slow, but just like that, we've managed to flip this table, I'm gonna go and deliver that now. I've sold that for 70 pounds. We picked that one up for 30, so made some good profit on that table. And then uh, this piece that I picked up a couple of days ago, I think we paid 25 for that one. Uh, I've sold that for 65 and I'm delivering that tomorrow morning. So all of a sudden, you know, we're, what, 130 pounds up, uh, which is pretty good. Got quite a lot of views for this particular table. Um, so hopefully try and get that sold tonight maybe. I might reduce the price a little bit. I've got that currently listed at 65. I think I'll probably try and uh, try it at 60. And then if I don't have anything by eight o'clock, I'll probably bump that one down to, uh, to 55, try and make a quick profit on that one. And then I've got the table out in my office that we picked up from the outfit store. That uh, again, we paid 34. 
I'm really struggling to shift that one. I've got that one down as low as 40 at the moment. Uh, I just want to try and get rid of that one. But yeah, gonna go and get this table loaded up in the car now. If I remember rightly, it's super heavy. These drawers are, are solid as hell. So got a bit of work to do. I've only got the up car as well. My car is still in the service. Um, something wrong with the handbrake, so they're trying to fix it. But yeah, gonna get this loaded up. Busy day ahead, see you in a bit. If anyone drives an up, all, all, all credit to you. These things are not big. Uh, yeah, let's go and get this table delivered. Hopefully I have my car back later today because uh, I'm delivering a bigger table tomorrow and I could do with a bigger car. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. See you in a bit. Just got that table delivered. Uh, it was really nice and smooth. The guy was really lovely, like real nice guy. I was after asking about uh, some of the other bits that we've got for sale. So that was really nice. But just kind of wanted to, to show you, you know, like when we talk about the tips and stuff, you know, a lot of people ask like, do you need to have a big car, a big van, whatever? You know, you can scale it depending on what you've got. Like I'm in this little up. I just got that coffee table in. It was 1.2 meters long. Uh, and probably about 60 centimeters wide. So you could probably, you know, if you've got a small car, like a little Fiesta, I used to have a Fiesta, something small like that. If you've got a small car, you can work on coffee tables, bedside tables, you know, you can look at those slightly smaller items, chest of drawers, things like that. You know, a bit like me, I can't do big dining tables. I can't do like big chairs. I can't do sofas. I would love to do those things, but you know, it's all an economy of scale. You know, once we, we start doing well, we might be able to invest in something like a trailer and then you can build up and up and up from there. Um, you know, there's always a way. It can always be, you know, you can if you haven't even got a car, if you've only got, you know, you're using public transport, you can get people to deliver it. You might have to pay 10, 15 pounds, but that doesn't matter. If you're buying something for, for 20 pounds and it's 15 pounds to deliver 35 and you sell it for 80, you're making money still. So uh, there's always a way if you guys are out there, if you're looking to make a hustle, if you're looking for a side hustle, this is definitely uh, a good way to earn some extra money each month. As I said, we've had a really slow month so far. We've got about 10, 10 days left in this month and we're still up at 500 pounds, give or take, I reckon. Um, so even if you, you know, 500 pounds, that's pretty good going. If I earn 500 pounds extra every month, I'd be, I'd be pleased. Uh, you know, you times that by 12 and all of a sudden you've got, you've got six grand more in your account. Good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing? I have had an absolute mare of a day. So I had two tables that were meant to be being picked up today and unfortunately both of them have pulled out. One lady actually messaged me and said if we could pick it up on, or she could pick it up on the Sunday. So that's okay, obviously a little bit disappointing, but it doesn't matter, we'll move it to the Sunday, that's absolutely fine. And then the, the second gentleman, uh, I he was due to be picking it up at about 11 o'clock. So I sent him a message at sort of about 10 past, just saying, you know, are you having any troubles sort of finding me let me know if you if you need any uh, any help and uh i got blocked so um couldn't send any messages so he obviously had no intention ever of picking up the table which was uh pretty disappointing so it means i've got both well i've got that table relisted now but not to worry sometimes these things happen you know you can't sort of dwell on it too badly but today i'm going to pick up three items so i'm on my way now to go and pick up some bedside tables and then i've got sort of two tables that i'm picking up I'm going to be picking up some more stock as well tomorrow, but I think once I've done all the pickups today, we'll do a bit of a wrap up. There's not going to be a huge amount of change, I'm afraid to say, but um, this kind of is what it is. Some of those times you're going to have busy weeks, sometimes you're going to have slow weeks. It's part of doing business. So uh, yeah, let's let's press on. Let's go and get these items collected. See you in a bit. Item number one collected. Uh, going to need to pick up a screw or two because the top came off. As the lady was taken out of her house, she dropped it and it, it kind of came off, but... I'll be able to fix it, that's not a problem. Um, yeah, on to go and get item number two. See you in a sec. Item number two collected. Just picked up some uh, small bedside tables just in the back. Paid £25 for those. Um, they're brand new pieces, so I don't think we'll make a huge profit, but we might be able to turn £45, £50, try and double our money, uh, try and get £25 each for them. So uh, yeah, a tidy little profit. So item number two collected. Gonna head home now, and then i uh, got to go pick up item number three. See you in a sec. Boom, just like that, we have picked up item number three. Looks to be a really nice piece. It's uh, a next home piece, so uh, it's got some paint on the front that they've kind of painted it and upcycled it I guess so it looks to be a good piece I'm sure we'll make a good profit on that we paid 35 pounds for that particular one um, so I'm gonna head home now so uh, on three one two well welcome back uh, it's been a few days it's now Monday I think I last spoke with you maybe on Friday might have even been before that might have been Thursday sales have been super slow but I'm pleased to say I've managed to sell the two white uh, bedside tables Managed to sell those for £80, so I'm going to go and get those delivered. 
And then once I've got those delivered, I'm gonna finally do the wrap up. I know I've been saying it for the last couple of clips, but uh, get these delivered, get on our way, and uh, yeah, give you a bit of an update. Catch you in a bit. Boom, just like that. I have just delivered the bedside tables and just got paid, which is perfect. Um, yeah, as I said, it's been a bit of a, a kind of a rough couple of days, a rough week, really. Uh, doing a lot of research on it and e-commerce sales, like online sales are, are down massively. Lots of like eBay sellers, Etsy sellers, everything like that. I've been having sort of a similar experience and it's a mixture of the weather, the time of year, everyone's coming out the back of sort of New Year, Christmas. You know, things are a little bit tight. So don't worry if you are reselling, reflipping things, if you're just getting into it, you know, it's a pretty rough time to get into it. But it's a great time for you to pick up stock. People are selling things dirt cheap because they're trying to get rid of them. So uh, check out for a well, look for a bargain. Um, so we just got paid. So the, the channel net worth is now up to 1,300 pounds exactly. However, what I would say is that we've currently got six pieces of stock, which I think, you know, once we kind of add all those sales up, will take us way up above the sort of, uh, 1500 pound mark close to 1600 pounds so we're probably not going to be doing a thousand pounds this month but we might get close to that sort of 700 800 pound mark uh, which is still i think a pretty good total um as you guys saw from the video as well you know you don't need a huge amount to get started with this you know you don't need a massive car you don't need like a an suv or a 4x4 or anything like that you can use your you know little car if you've got no car you can do it so uh just keep hanging in there keep flipping stuff you'll 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 do well as i said at the moment people are selling things super cheap because they're trying to get rid of stock because nothing is selling so so look out for a bargain you know haggle with these people some things might have been on the marketplace for a week or two you know you can get them for that little bit less and then ultimately you know when you sell it in a week's time two weeks time when things pick back up you're making more profit so very pleased with how the week's going obviously struggling a little bit in terms of uh, of sales but we've picked up a lot of stock and that puts us in a good position moving forward so i hope you guys have enjoyed the content thank you so much for for viewing the whole video all the way through if you want to sort sort of see more day-to-day -day things follow me on uh, on instagram i'll put my instagram title somewhere at the bottom here um but yeah thank you so much for, for following and i'll catch up with you guys soon see you in a bit